Congratulations. I have some chocolate, okay? I, I will take that chocolate very nicely. And we're hoping, actually, he and I decided that with Otto's win for the pumpkin carve-off, that that gets us a win at the Dome tomorrow. I think so. We're going to carry so. that forward against BC tomorrow. It's a noon kickoff. And I think the tailgate's going to be cool and chilly, 42. But look at that. Sunshine blends with clouds. Should be pretty bright towards the kickoff. A wind out of the south will help our temperature go up into the lower 50s. Also, something to note this weekend, we're going to be falling back, setting our clocks back at 2 o'clock in the morning. Want to also make sure your smoke alarms have their batteries. You don't know, test them. Extra hour of sleep. Can't complain about that. There's the new sunrise and sunset times starting on Sunday. By the way, today, the latest bus stop, you know, the darkest, the latest sunrise of the bus stop season in the entire year because we changed the clocks back over the weekend. So it's really dark until after 730 now and it's windy out there. You might not see some of these roads that could be flooded or even if the water has gone down some debris on the road, the world could be washed out. There was some serious flooding east and southeast of Onondaga County, especially yesterday. Now here we are on Falso Service Experts Live Triple Doppler Radar. East of the lake, we've got some lake effect rain and highest elevation snow showers as the temperatures have plummeted to 44. It's 39 in Cortland. Could get south of Onondaga County a sprinkle or a flurry this morning morning, but it's a general trend towards improvements with more in the way of sunshine developing towards midday for Syracuse and Point South. Up in Oswego, Oneida, Southern Lewis County, still some stubborn lake clouds and maybe some scattered rain and higher elevation snow showers, which should taper and become isolated late day. Maybe still some cloud cover up there, but otherwise the winds much less late day. There's that lake band still holding out up to the north. That moves further north and we quiet down overnight, setting us up for a nice day tomorrow. A blend of sunshine and clouds. There will be a cold front that comes through. Uh, Saturday night with a shower and then reignites some lake effect east of the lake. Again, it's mostly up to the north. Now here the wind gusts this morning at 7 a.m. Strong damaging winds possible. 60 miles per hour for everyone, especially the hills just south of Syracuse. Also up on Lake Ontario shoreline. Look what is happening here on the future cast. 58 there in Watertown. Still gusty at 9 a.m. A little bit easier going the winds as we go into the afternoon hours. So your forecast for today, the day planner shows after we hit 40 this morning at 9 a.m. We only get up to 45 around noon or 1 o'clock and then start to fall late day, but we will see a drying trend overall east of the lake in Oswego County, especially some lake showers this afternoon. 32 for tonight. We're clearing out 52 with sun and clouds tomorrow. The wind tomorrow only 5 to 15 miles per hour. Some lake effect rain and snow east of the lake on Sunday. An odd shower the morning elsewhere. 47 and we're drying out Monday, warming Tuesday. Here's sports. CBS 5 Sports is sponsored by your...